Well, hello everyone, here I am with another LEGO Harry Potter Summer 2021 review, and this one is on Hogsmeade Village Visit. So on the front of the box here, we see the logos, Wizarding World logo, and that interesting bo new border that we are seeing for this wave, and the whole set that there is with all of Hogsmeade in the background, all the mini things included, and a 20 years logo, of course, and Age recommendation 8 and up, set number 76388 has 851 pieces. And flip to the back to see the back view of it and some special shots of it. And collectible wizard cards, four included in this one. Let's bow it with the box. Now onto the booklet. Has two booklets. Which which build one of the houses probably to like separate the builds or build with a second person, whatever. The first one of which has add add to win on the online survey. And then second build of which second one of which has add for rebuild the world. Uh a charity thing and the pieces that come with the set of course and then after the collectible wizard card things that are included in each of these sets and then build and swap uh, with the current Hogwarts range sets of course and the last building steps And so now on to the mini things for this one. So as we look left to right, we which have Harry Potter, who which did come in the Hagrid's Hut set uh, two years ago, of course, and new exclusive version of uh, Professor McGonagall, of course, and also we get Madame Razarta, yeah, yeah, Madame Razarta with that nice use of that her piece of course, and of course using Mini Axe piece of course, and also we get. The flu pair, of course, with some nice lavenderish kind of colors to it, to them, and some nice torso prints, of course, and Mr. Flu, lack of uh, like printing, of course, and also we get Dean Thomas, of course, who I don't think we seen in any other sets, but and of course, although it does have a nice use of Finn's hairpiece, of course. And if you look from the back, and you see all of which do have some slight back torso print, especially Dean Thomas's, quite well done. Miss Flume's, also well done. And you see, also do, some of which do have some double side faces. And of course, Perry's of which, same as it's been for a while, of course. And that is about it with that. And then for the exclusive gold fig figure this time is Ron Weasley, which all the piece, hair piece of which, same as the regular version, but of course in gold. And one piece, nice and gold, and collect the mini fig stand in gold. Also like these other ones, and because besides that, the torso print, face prints, all quite the same as others, but of course, nicely done. And of course, do get, and also of course, 20 years of Lego Harry Potter on the back of which, just like how, just like 20 years of Lego Star Wars for the 20th anniversary Star Wars line, of course. Although, would have wished that they were complete replicas of the original figs, but whatever. At least gold kind, fair enough. Just like the 10 year Ninjaga ones, of course. And now onto the 
collectible wizard card tiles, of course. Okay. Hang on a sec. As we would have. Uh, hang on a sec. We have a limp maxim and also. Yeah, that's probably the one. And also, two in the center kind of repeats. So, actually, both of which are kind of repeats, but that's only in my cockpit set. But you'd get different versions since they're randomly inserted with each set, of course. But now, on to the builds, so which, first off, for the builds, we do get. Both uh, this bench here, this bench that does have has just a corner plate and also regular plate in a couple of slope around to be the snow around, and of course, do get this street lamp post that's just traditional lamp post on a round plate and also a cylinder in it and a dish and of course Nexo Knights pyramid on top. Although these builds are which kind of plain, but but all, but all right, but you can definitely use in like winter village sets and things. And first up for the builds is Honey Dukes, of course. Let's see, the build of which really nice, quite nice, of course. So like both of these, quite nice to go alongside the uh, original 2004 Shrieking Shack set, of course. Oh, also a separate build is, of course, this little wanted poster of Sirius Black, of course, and also built quite nicely, also done on both sides, of course. I said, not sure why the grilling is like that, but whatever, probably represent uh, shingles with snow on them, and of course, good use of those uh, rounded brick pieces. So, yeah. Anyways, back to this is that this set of which has a lot of stickers done on it, put onto it. Like these windows, these signs all over, all stickers. And then of course have the door piece in green that you can open up, lead to the shop, of course. And, and also the rooftop of which, kind of reminiscent of the Shrieky Shack, of course. But also do get one of those uh, top uh, castle top pieces in gray, of course, and those uh, far above are a couple of smallish chimpanzees, one small, one larger, of course. And if you look to the back to see for the quite good interior, like the old school checkerboard flooring, which all done with jumpers, of course, and also get this little podium kind of thing. Which has a couple clear with a couple stickers on them, and they do look quite nice and all. And as you, one other side, which is supposed to look, which has like a bunch of jars of various candies, and also do get a couple of a lollipop type display, and also box of popcorn there with the Nexo Knights pyramid there, of course, and also what is probably a chocolate fountain, of course into the other side of which is some of the same stuff of it and also the friends cupcakes one of them in pink one in aqua color which nice to get and also one very interesting piece of pieces which oh, okay also some other things to probably get a couple of danishes and things there oh, okay. and also you get these rounded uh brick pieces but in this clear pink with the sparkle effect. Quite nice, of course. It's not sure what it's supposed to represent, but whatever it is, great for mocking, obviously. If you are to make some Candyland type of mocks. Oh, okay. And also do get 
be like cash register and a tip bowl, of course. Of which, a lot of stickers in this set, of course, and also another brick saying Honey Dukes, of course. And if you look above, you get this attic view of it. Do you get another box that also says Honey Dukes, of course? And also a little flyer to the side and a pot, and also a little bucket there. And also, right above are uh, what's probably bottles of various things, of course. And yeah. And lastly, and next onto the other building of which also built quite nicely. So like, good use of the like brick bricks as some call them, and also a couple sticker signs, but look nice. And also do get the common. A cone piece and also mini fig holder piece on done quite nicely and I'll do get a lot of those like like underneath smooth uh, bricks of course uh, which put to good use in this one and also classic shield piece with although it may have nothing on it but still nicely used and of course just like the honey dukes building has good use of the snow effect of course it's also workable in your winter village sets, of course. And on this one side, you've got a large panel piece with a plate or a sticker on it. Also, but at least lesser stickers on this one, of course. And of course, get a lot of some of those like odd jagged slopes there, put to good use, and some more of that making it more slanted, obviously. And if you look from the interior, of course, got a little table there with a croissant and, of course, probably a stand, of course, with the comic candlestick in there. And a couple of other stickers on there, like a door with a few shrunken heads and also another sticker, which advertising couple brooms and butterbeer, of course. And also a sticker, which of who what looks kind of like Bomber the Dwarf from the Hobbit line, of course. And also do get a few other uh, cups and things, of course. And also another picture of a broom. And further above, you get a yep, nicely built chair piece place, but in with a lot of dark green. Done quite nicely, and also, also that little thing. Also a sticker panel with a few brooms and quidditch things on there. And another sticker which showing uh, most of the village at night time. And it also do get and what probably cherry or Christmas holly or something. And of course nicely built fireplace there obviously. And above of which nothing much even though you could kind of call it an attic space. It's been, yeah. But the rest of which is also good use of those cloth pieces used for icicles or, again, added snow. Just let me get everything together. And we'll get on to the verdict. Sorry. And so now on to the final word. Anyway. Overall, this I think a pretty good set or quite cool set for that. So I hope this means that we're getting get in the future get some more Hogsmeat sets, of course, since also good parts of the films, obviously. And also and of course been forever since they did the Shrieking Jack set, which I hope they also redo well. And of course, this is also an attraction at Universal, obviously. Same with Diagon Alley. Well, I hope this trend also happens with the shops of Diagon Alley, obviously. Well, plenty of good building techniques and good assortment of figs, obviously. And also, and of course, as a large candy person, well, Honey Duke's building does well work out for me, obviously, of course. And of course, 
common trend that we barely see much, where it's two builds together in one set, of course. And so now if you're looking to get this set for your display, definitely pick this up. And if you want to get this set for your uh, collection and, and all that, definitely also pick up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.